You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this part we are going to talk about RF filters. Electronic filters are circuits which perform signal processing functions especially to remove unwanted frequency components from the signal to enhance wanted ones or both. So uh, the main goal and purpose of using RF filter is to remove unwanted frequency. Imagine that we have a specific application like Bluetooth, so we are supposed to receive a specific frequency. It means that we can't accept all the frequencies. So we have to kind of put a filter and reject the unwanted frequencies from our system. And this is the most important use of filter in our system. So we say RF devices include some kind of filtering on the signals transmitted or received. RF filters enable the required frequencies to be passed. Required frequencies. We talk about the required frequencies. It means that the system is designed to operate at a specific frequency. It can be a single frequency or a specific uh, frequency range. But it means that it's not allowed to accept all frequencies. We know the RF world is dense and there are lots of different frequencies FM, radio, TV, mobile out there and it's uh, possible that our system, our antenna can uh, can intercept those signals and uh, those signals can get inside our system. So they will corrupt our data. We have to uh, kind of get rid of these signals. So let's uh, see a very simple uh, concept here. This is one of the most important cases that we use filter in the system, but you have to know this is not the only case. We have different kind of filters inside even the receiver or transmitter. But let's see what is happening here. So imagine we have antenna and we have receiver. So we have to place a filter between these two uh, blocks or these two systems. Why? Because imagine that our antenna is accepting, is receiving different kind of frequencies. But uh, what if the receiver just wants to uh, operate at a specific carrier frequency? It means that the receiver is designed to accept the single frequency in this case. Sometimes receiver can uh, accept a frequency band. That's why we call it like wide band application, wide band receiver. But imagine here our receiver is designed to get a single frequency. So we have different kind of frequencies and we are not allowed to accept all of them. We use filter and pick the desired one and we attenuate other frequencies. So this is the, one of the most important goals to design a filter. I'm going to introduce different kind of filters. Uh, maybe most of you know about these filters from electronics, but let's uh, review them again. We have low pass filter. It means that if we use this filter, we can uh, pass the low frequencies. For example, there is a frequency here, we call it a corner frequency, let's say this is omega 1. It means that if we uh, have a signal which has a frequency lower than this value, it will pass through the filter, but uh, higher frequencies will be attenuated by, by the filter. So basically we are rejecting them. High pass filter is exactly opposite of low pass filter. The band pass filter is accepting a specific band and from, for example, F1, let's say, to F2. So uh, let's go back to the previous uh, figure here. As you see, this filter is accepting one frequency here, but in some systems, we call them wideband. For example, here it can be 3 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz. It means that we are accepting all signals within this range, 4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. We are accepting all of them, but we are rejecting the rest. For example, if we have a frequency 2 gigahertz, we are rejecting 2 gigahertz or higher than 6 gigahertz, we are uh, rejecting. We are not allowed to accept that signal, that frequency uh, into our system. So we have to know that it's not necessary to have wide band all the time. So when we are talking about band pass filter, it doesn't mean that we always have a wide band. It can be a narrow band. So then our band pass filter will have a response something like this. So it means that uh, this filter is allowed to pass only a uh, single frequency here and it's like let's say it's F3. So this is a narrow band application and here this filter only passes a single frequency as we talked in this case. And there is also band stop which is opposite of band pass. We stop the band and uh, we don't want to get the uh, specific frequencies within the specific band. 
And as you see here, for example, imagine this can be RF fault and we are going to see the spectrum here. So we have different kind of signals, intermediate frequency, some other high frequencies, RF frequencies here, and we call them unwanted image signal or unwanted signal. We are going to talk about image actually. Uh, we have a course about the transmitter and receiver. And in this course, we explained about image, unwanted signals, different kind of uh, topologies. And uh, if you are interested, you can take this course. So as you see in this picture, imagine that this last one is the wanted signal. So we see the spectrum and we just want to get this to our system and we want to reject all of these components here. So what should we do? We use a bandpass filter here. We use bandpass filter and we pick the signal and we reject the rest. So this is one of the most important uh, cases that we use filter in our system. But uh, we have also different kind of filters. We sometimes we use low pass, sometimes we use bandpass filter inside our receiver and transmitter. And if you are interested in, if you want to know about this, uh, the use of these filters, you may take the transmitter and receiver course of Ratsoft. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question. And then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website. Then after that, all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to checkout. And as you see, click to enter your code. You can put the, the coupon code here and then apply the coupon. So then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course. As you see, you won't pay anything for this course. Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.